Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Chris and this is Skylanders Ring of Heroes. So we're just going to talk about some of the uh, developers notes that were put up after the Flameslinger update. So we've got two here to look at um, and we're going to go to we we'll get into the developers notes in just a little bit but first I want to take a look at the Skylander Ring of Heroes notice that's on here. So if we click into this it's going to give us a little thing. Uh, greetings Paul Masters, we'd like to apologise for the emergency maintenance that was held on February the 18th at 3am PST. Please read below for more info on the errors that occurred, compensation for the emergency maintenance and the event extensions. So yeah, as you probably all know by now we got a nice bit of a compensation for this. We got the 500 uh, energy. 30 pick up summon tickets and 1 million gold which was absolutely which was brilliant and then it goes on to say event extensions will also be extending the events to compensate for the emergency maintenance time um, and number one is roll the die every day february the 18th till february the 29th well it's february the 21st and roll the die has disappeared from my events list so that one is a lie. Sweet Chocolate Box is still active though. That is continuing until February the 24th. Um, so nice to get your free summon tickets from there as well. Your daily summon tickets, energy and gold, and also some nice upgrade materials as well. So I can remove that one and get some nice upgrades. Academy level up missions, if you haven't done that already, that's extended until March the 2nd. And the Zulu pickup event extended for one day. Um, so yeah, kind of weird how they the roll the die every day has been taken off. Um, okay, so let's uh, dive into the developer's notes and uh, see if we can like take something away from this. So, uh, greetings Portal Masters. We'd like to thank all users for the interest and support you've shown for the February update. We'll be reviewing the things that will be added to the game with the March-April update with the fourth developer's note. Please note that the exact schedule of the update will be notified in the future after a thorough development of the systems. Please read below for the developer's notes. Um, okay, so first thing we get to, difficulties with farming. To reduce the stress of farming and upgrading, we're preparing the following updates. Uh, number one, Adventures Auto Battle System. A new system to reduce the time spent for the Adventures farming is being prepared. The Guardians placed in each stage will battle and acquire game money for upgrades. In addition, you'll also be able to enjoy other contents. Are the, are the Auto Battles is in progress. I think that's meant to be while. Some of these aren't written out too great, just like some of the descriptions uh, for the Skylanders, as you may have noticed as well. Um, so yeah, they really need to uh, do some spell checking when they're doing these posts. Um, uh, so I, th I do believe they've got a similar system to this now in Summoner's War, where you can just kind of uh, keep your keep your Skylanders uh, farming, just stick them in there, do the plus 20, and then they will go off and carry on farming that. Uh, while well, you can do other stuff in the game, but you won't be able to use the, the Skylanders that are currently farming. You'd have to use a different set of Skylanders. Um, but that's that's nice. That means you can uh, start farming and then continue some of your dailies or do some uh, do some PvP or something like that. That's a, that's a good uh, welcome addition uh, to the game because there is a lot of farming involved and that takes up a lot of time. Uh, so nice to, to hear that come into the game. Uh, number two, content elimination system. Now this one... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure what they're kind of getting at with this, but let's have a read. Uh, a new elimination system is being prepared to reduce the stress of repeatedly playing the contents. We're reviewing to apply on contents with daily entrance limits and we hope to increase user convenience with the new system. What could that mean? Okay, so initially I read this like, um, <laughs> I think I read this wrongly. So we're reviewing to apply on contents with daily entrance limits, not ones that don't have limits and putting limits on them but ones that already have limits again have the elimination system being placed on there so the elimination system i don't know too much about this i don't know what is going on with there um but hopefully it's probably give you something that will kind of uh i'm sorry make it more visual that you've done that so you don't need to go on there see it's a, to make it non-clickable or something like that um so you're not just constantly like clicking in all the areas, just seeing if you've done that one or done that one, done that one. It'll be like grayed out or something like that. That's the only thing I can kind of uh, imagine from an, an elimination system. So possibly something like that, but you know, we'll have to know more about that before we can get a complete idea on it. Uh, but that's what I think anyway, just kind of like a, a grayed out area. <coughs> just have it like grayed out and non-clickable once you've uh, done that part of the uh, content. Um, okay, battle entertainment. So. We've had countless meeting, again, meeting, 
We've had countless meetings to discuss the feedbacks we've received regarding how to make the battle battles more entertaining. The following will be prepared to update the battle system in the future. Number one, battle AI improvements. This is something that is really welcome. We'll be improving the battle AI so that the Skylanders will be able to use skills in a smarter way. We're hoping that the dissatisfactions regarding the battle AI will be reduced with the improvements. Uh, so this is something that I've had a lot of frustration with, which I'm sure you guys have as well. Um, for for instance, I use uh, Pitbots on some of my teams, and there's some occasions where uh, you know, he starts, he's usually the first one to start charging anyway, which is really good what you want to happen but then after it's finished charging he won't always apply that buff straight away like the AI will let other Skylanders go first in some situations and then it'll apply the buff afterwards which means we lose like a full turn of uh, buffs with that which is crazy but yeah also healers as well healers don't often heal as efficiently as they should do when you're on auto battles but yeah that's uh, that's all good stuff uh, battle AI improvements is always welcome to the game especially for auto teams, so brilliant. Um, Skylander balancing modification. We're also reviewing the efficiency of Skylander skills. We'll be modifying the balancing of Skylanders that are lacking in skill efficiency to make the battles more entertaining and continue to review and adjust the balancing so each Skylander can play their role. Um, <clears throat> so uh, two parts from this, I think. From what I'm re reading, the first part is we'll be modifying the balancing of Skylanders that are lacking in skill efficiency to make the battles more entertaining. So that means like they're going to have a review of everything and then um, uh, bringing everything up, upgrading everything up to a, um, to the, the level that they should be, kind of a buffing of the Skylanders. But then the second part of that is and continue to review and adjust the balancing. So each Skylander can play their role. So we can take from this, they're going to be looking at all Skylanders and rebalancing them. So there probably will be some nerfs within that as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, more rebalancing, which is good. Some, a lot of, uh, quite a few of the Skylanders need that as well. But yeah, balance is always needed in games like this. We're seeing new Skylanders being entered into the game, which changes up uh, teams and the way we play different Skylanders. And this is nice that they're always looking at those and reviewing them to see if they can uh, balance them out a little bit more. So that's something that should always be expected in, uh, in gacha games. Um, okay, Skylander update factor expansion. A new upgrade system that utilizes Skylander element will be added. You'll be able to use the element relations strategically in battle and we're hoping it will act as another factor in battle so yeah uh, so this is something that i would have assumed would be in this where when i picked up the game some of that's in like all of a gacha games um where you know you've usually got a thing like uh water is stronger against fire fire is stronger against wind wind goes back to wind is stronger against water that's the kind of uh uh someone has war kind of a triangle and then you've got like light and dark thick which are just strong and weak against each other. So the only time we've seen this in this game so far that I'm aware of is with the uh, the Boom Bloom episode event. Uh, in the sparring scenario, uh, it has elemental bonus here with fire, where you get bonuses for you in, for using fire Skylanders against Boom Bloom, which is 25%, uh, actually quite a lot, 25% extra attack, 25% defense, 25% extra HP. Uh, effect resistance 25%, effect accuracy 25%, uh, it's a quite a big uh, bonus for the uh, opposing element. Um, okay, so that would be nice <laughs> and make the battles a bit more strategical when you're choosing what Skylanders to, you want to use in battle. Uh, so you know, like all life uh, Skylanders you're going to want to use fire against, or fire ones you're going to want to use water elements against, or something like that. There's quite a few different elements, so there's going to be a, a a bigger uh, bracket, a bigger uh, rotation to the uh, elements than that. Um, however, just from the first line, it says a new upgrade system that utilizes Skylander element will be added. So a new upgrade system uh, suggests that there's going to be further upgrades that you're going to need to do to your Skylanders to kind of like activate the elemental bonuses, maybe. Uh, that's what I'm getting for, uh, from that. And there's no indication whether that's going to be uh, to like all battles against other other Skylanders, or if it's going to be used mainly like the campaign against the the bosses, or um, you know, this is something that should be used in the whole game against different Skylanders. But again, it's something we're going to have to wait to see for more information on that. 
Um, okay, so and, and just underneath that, we'll also be expanding the academy max level to help users get stronger. Um, so if you wonder what academy level is, that is your uh, your account level, your character level, your level. Um, so that's going to allow you to have more reserved and it well that may or may not it depends on what the rewards would be for leveling up even further i myself haven't got to max academy level yet i'm only level 35 um but yeah that's nice that they're going to increase that as well hopefully that'll uh, increase the maximum amount of energy storage uh, that you can get as well uh so good a positive improvement to the game and then lastly <coughs> we've got new content um, a new content will be added following the episode Dungeon and the Cave of Gold. It'll be guild PvP content to enable the users to enjoy guild versus guild competition. More info on the new content will be announced via separate notice when it's prepared. Okay, nice. So even more content coming to the game. And this is going to be based around guilds. Um, so yeah, if you haven't found a guild yet, join one. <laughs> you do get uh, some, some extra rewards from doing air dailies within guild as well. Um, I will probably be looking for a, a better guild than one at the minute. Uh, just for this guild v guild uh, content. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that is kind of set out as well. Uh, the only thing I can assume from this is that because it's a uh, smaller, smaller teams. Actually, how many people can we have in a guild at the minute? Uh, current, I'm in like a, a guild at the minute. Um, in the one that I'm in, it's max 20 people allowed in there. Um, I don't, that, might, that might be bigger the bigger the guild is or the more experience that guild has gained i'm not too sure um but yeah it'll be interesting to see what comes from that if there's if there's maximum 20 members um i don't know are they going to do something like they have in summoner's war where you uh kind of where you set your defense at towers and then attack other uh, guild towers to take over them to gain a more of a dominance on a map Maybe something like that, but this also means that guild content uh, might even but will probably bring in a different uh, type of currency and a different shop to the game as well for more ways to improve your Skylanders. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, we'll continue to pay attention to user feedbacks to provide more stable and entertaining and entertaining game environment. Thanks. Okay, so that's the developer's notes from there. So quite a lot of interesting things come into the game. Most notable things are the uh, AI improvements the auto battle system uh, and the elements being introduced into the game oh yeah and the guild content as well so those are the four main things that we're taking away from this developers notice so really good things come in to the game still uh, really excited about this uh, so far since the revamp since i've been playing this game i've been really impressed by the amount of uh, the amount of uh, events that they've added to the game it's been constant constant events uh, throughout me playing this uh, which means there's always opportunity to gain more energy more summons uh, and all that good stuff and kind of allow me to just feel free to enjoy and enjoy the Skylanders and upgrade them uh, at my own pace which has been really nice um so yeah future updates are looking bright but yeah that's kind of like my thoughts that's what I'm taking away from this patch anyway uh, so let me know if you guys think different down in the comments below and uh, also let me know what kind of feature you're most looking forward to as well and uh, thank you guys for watching as well and also supporting the channel it's been much appreciated all those likes comments subscribes go really go a long way so thank you very much and uh just let me know if you want to keep seeing more of this content anyway guys that is it from me hopefully see you guys in another video take care peace